third and the final mob boat is here. So for this third one, we're going to have to swim to a stony shores. We're now actually at a stony shores. And the reason we have come here is because the third and final mob is the penguin. Now, there is some bugs with its feet, which I'll fix them later. I fell down. I've made this rough, quick model. And I also did add some rough animations. As you can see, the arms do flap a bit. The legs should also move, but it seems like they are not. I just quickly want to interrupt this video to say somewhat of a final version of the penguin is now complete. We will be releasing an update to Trails and Tales Plus to include the penguin within the next few hours. And this is what it looks like. It looks way better. And once again, thanks to Infinite for actually making this model. It definitely looks better than my one, which looked like a penguin had just been slapped in the world. That is exactly what happened. I definitely think I do need to make this bigger though, because they do look quite small. But enjoy the rest of the video, where you have the old plain boring model. So the penguin is the third mob, which the use that they described within the actual video they are clumsy on land, so maybe that makes me think that maybe they walk slower or they maybe slide a little bit on land. I'm not exactly too sure what that means. In the video, they kept falling off the boat, so that could be what they would do. But it says they are brilliant swimmers, which penguins obviously are. So maybe they are better in water and they'll most prefer to be in water, like turtles. It also says that their home is the actual stony shores. So they'll spawn here and in the water around it, which I think is really cool. There is also, well, that crashed the game. And there we go. It's now back. The game actually crashed. I've got to add the code for the baby penguin. And they did actually mention that baby penguins will be a thing. Because Lady Agnes did actually specify that there is a baby penguin. So they will actually be added. And I think they are really cool. I haven't actually added any of the abilities where it swims better than it walks. Because I just wanted to get a rough model in. And there is also no detail to the actual penguin apart from a few little spots. Which that will change once Infinite actually can make the model. Oh, I don't know what happened there. So apart from them actually spawning in the stony shores. And being better swimmers and also clumsy on land. The only other thing that Minecraft said they would actually do is they'll make your boats swim faster, which I don't actually know how useful that is because already in the game, I guess it would work something like Dolphin's Grace, where obviously if you're swimming next to a dolphin, you swim faster. I'm guessing the penguins would give you some sort of effect like that, but obviously only when in a boat. And they'll also swim beside you. So just like dolphins do, they'll basically just swim next to your boat, making it go a little bit faster. We're not exactly too sure what the requirements for that would be. Like if the boat has to be in water, because I guess that would then improve boat highways using ice, because then you could have a penguin nearby and boat highways that use ice in the nether and stuff like that could then maybe go even faster than they already can. But my guess is the boat would have to be in water for it to actually work, but they haven't specified that. So we're not actually too sure how the penguins would make your boat faster. I'm not exactly too sure who I'm voting for yet. Penguins have my vote because I love penguins, but I don't know if their use is going to be that good. Currently, the best use out of them all is the crab claw. Because the crab claw obviously extends your reach by building. So it makes building way easier. The actual wolf armor, I guess, could be cool if wolves were better. Currently, they're not really that good. And I think tamed animals, horses, wolves, cats, parrots... I think tamed animals need a complete update to them and to make them more like tamed animals. Cats got a good update in, I think it was 114, where they laid on your bed, they bring you a gift. So I definitely think that an update would be good, but wolf armor isn't really something that I care about right now. Penguins, although I do love them, I don't think their use is that good as just making your boats go faster. That'll be good early game. Once again, if it only works in water, that'll be good early game. But late game, you don't really boat around because you have Elytra. If it was a permanent thing where it works on all boats, as long as there is a player in it, so you could use it on land as well and make your boats like row a little bit faster on land and also when using ice, that would be good. But we're not too sure if that will be the case. So I'm not too sure who I'm going to vote for. You still have a week to decide. I think it's a week tomorrow the actual vote opens. So there are obviously crabs, there are penguins, and there are armadillos. Uh, the penguins are quite small. They should definitely be bigger than that, I think. They should, I think, be probably about two blocks tall. And I also did notice that in the actual Minecraft Live video, 
they did actually show the penguin to look like an emperor penguin where it has like the eyebrows above its eyes i don't actually know how emperor penguins work and how they're different to normal penguins but i would love to know how you get babies because normally penguins hatch the eggs on land and then they have them between their legs to kind of keep them warm and safe that would be cool if you could find a penguin walking around with the egg between its legs. But once again, we'll have to wait and see. So that is the three mobs. We've got the armadillo, the penguin, and the crab has gone all the way over there. And then the uses for them, the crab claw. We then also have the armadillo and the wolf armor. Uh, where did that wolf armor just go? It should have went on the wolf, but for some weird reason it didn't. There we go. I don't actually know where that went for a second. That was weird. The wolf armor is now on. Once again, models and textures will be reworked in a future update. We just have a rough thing here. And armadillo scutes, which you can get from killing these guys. Once again, all of this will actually be in the Trails and Tales Plus mod. As soon as this video goes live, there should be a version that you can play, including the wolf armor, the armadillo, and also the penguin. And then the crabs, wherever the crab has actually gone. It's over there, as you can see, just above my head. So that is it, really, for the mob votes. There has only ever been three, so I think that is the three mobs we are going to get. There is one more scheduled video, but I think that is a recap video to obviously then recap the three mobs. So you then know what the actual mob is. And another thing before we do end, a snapshot did release yesterday. Alongside all the actual hype for the mob vote, it was kind of underlooked. And inside of that update, they did actually add a change to shields. It only added really one change. There was some bug fixes and some technical changes. But the main change was when you actually shield your shield, your actual arm now moves. As you can see, inside of this version, it just stays still, although I'm moving around. I did upload a short on it, so check that out, as that does definitely describe how it works. And the shield will now move with you, which is really good. And that is a snapshot for 123. I now have a week to decide whether I want to vote for the crab or the penguin. I definitely think cuteness, the penguins, will win that. But I think useful, I think the crabs would win that. And I'm not actually too sure what one I'm going to vote for. Armadillo isn't really an option for me because I don't think, although they're cute mobs, I don't really think they'll be useful. Although they do add to the savannah. I do like how each mob has its own area within the world. They spawn in hot biomes, so savannas. The penguins will spawn in stony shores and crabs that will spawn in mangrove swamps. Also, the two losing mobs, because only one of these will be added to the game. You obviously will be able to vote on your favourite, and one of them will win that vote. The two losing mobs will stay within the Trails and Tales Plus mod, so you can always mess around with them and always use their features, whether it be horse armour, crab claws, or making your boats go faster. Over the next few days, hopefully by the weekend, we are going to release a update revamping all three of them to make them more like the vinyl versions. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.